name is Carlos Alvarez, and my title is a manufacturer and engineer intern. I graduated from San Jose State University with a bachelor's in science in industrial technology, concentration in manufacturing systems. Some of my duties at work would be uh, program parts that were designed by other engineers so they could uh, be facilitated and produced with our company. Some of the classes I took were uh, computer integrated manufacturing, where it shows how a manufacturing company works from designing a product, uh, producing it, making a schedule, which is called an MRP, all, all the way up to the final finished product and selling it to the customer. I also took another class called Lean Manufacturing, where you learn how to make a manufacturing company leaner, which means it's more efficient and produces less waste. What I like about this field of engineering is that I can see how products are, are produced from start to finish. I can see that how they start from the raw materials all the way to the finished product. Some of my interests when I was a little kid, I, I would walk around the best stores and see products and I would think, how are those manufactured? How, how are those made? Curiosity about how something is made from start to finish, from raw material until the, the finished product. So this is an acrylic catalog that we designed in one of my classes called Computer Integrated Manufacturing. It's made out of acrylic pieces and it has six different components. This specific project, we, uh, we use SOLIDWORKS to design all the components. And then after we design it in SOLIDWORKS, we use another program called BobCamp to generate the code <coughs> that would later uh, be used on a CNC machine to cut all the pieces to, uh, to the shape required. And after that, we put it together. And it's a mechanical design for the class. In a real scenario, if we would like to manufacture this uh, project, we designed an MRP system that it could be accessed online that basically shows all the information, design uh, blueprints, the uh, MRP, the master production schedule, all the, all the data required. So another thing that we can see on our ERP system, it's uh, the production layout. So here we can see the layout of the equipment we need to uh, we will need to produce this part. So we can see that here we can start with the raw materials. Another aspect of my job will be do uh, time studies. For example, we will go to an individual station and time how long the, the process takes, and we will update the the system with the time it takes to produce a certain part. That way we can set up a production standard, and that way we can plan accordingly. And based on that, we can quote the part and tell them how much money it will cost for them and for us to make it. Some of the struggles I had to overcome were um, the, the experience or the being a first generation graduate. So at the time, um, I felt like I had no one to follow up and I was shy about asking other people and my counselors at school because I was a first generation I graduated my family. So I had to overcome that in order to uh, be more successful, like be more involved in school and, and get more information about where the path was going to take me and which which one was the correct one. So an advice I would give to other people who are trying to do an engineering major would be never to give up because at the end it's so rewarding to have a career in a major and also to be informed to to exactly what what do you want to do in life because sometimes you don't know and even though if you don't know at the time it's okay to try something and then later switch to another thing because it's, that's the way life will do it right? is trial and error until you find something that you would like to do. I think it's never too late to pursue something that you would like because when you work at something that you enjoy and you're passionate about, working is just like having fun every day. Uh, now, I really uh, enjoy working in a manufacturing environment as designing, doing all kinds of different stuff with the, an engineering major. One of my goals for the future will be working as a senior engineer in a big company, maybe such as Google or face, even Facebook. I, I have uh, read articles where 
those type of companies, Facebook and, and Google, are going to be doing manufacturing products, uh, making stuff for the future uh, and selling it to the consumer. Mm -hmm.